Welcome, Good Rolando. evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. You? I'm fine, thank you. Ready to the class, right? Okay, right. Did you, did you finish? Did you finish all the sections in the platform? Yes. Yes. My now. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, nice. So let's begin with the class. Welcome, Luis. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, now let's start with the platform, right? Okay, let's review the video. 5.1 statement with the pass of B, right? Let's review the the video. Welcome, Marleni. Welcome. And family. Gracias, teacher. After you finish the class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Teacher, el micrófono, teacher. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you, Orlando. Now, uh, repeat after me, please. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No. I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Young. You were pretty young. Yes. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. My English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. So, I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Your English 
is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. But I was born here. But two years first. Well, your English is really good now. English classes for two years first. Now, let's practice. Let me see. Uh, Rolando, can you help me? Uh, you are Chuck and Melissa is uh, Marleni. Help me, Marleni. Ready? <clears throat> One, two, three. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in is in I know. <laughs> I nineteen ninety nine. 1999. Mm. You were pretty young? Yes, I was only 70. Did you go? Did you go to college right right away? No, my English was very good, so I taught English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is very good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Here. Okay. Here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's go and read the commentary, right? Alonso Tejada says he was a good basketball player. I was six last, last week. That's okay. They were members of the Villar Club. Good. Now, Abel. Let me see what Abel wrote. I was in the bank yesterday. He was the imposter in the game. Oh. They were... No, no. Okay. They were in the supermarket. So, in this case, Abel, you have to eliminate go, right? Aquí solo hay que eliminar go, right? Okay, teacher. They were in the supermarket to buy me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Abel. Now, Carlos Cruz. No, we don't have Carlos Cruz in the class, right? And let me see this one. The pass of B. No, I don't know. Uh, Roxana is no, Roxana is not in the class, right? Carolina de Angulo. Yes, see, we have the one student or, or group, Carolina, right? I was at the museum yesterday. Ah, that's good. My sister, went, mm, no, I guess Carolina, because my sister is singular, is my sister wasn't, right? Okay. You understand, Carolina? Okay. Last year, my songs, uh, in this case, yes, because it's plural, right? My songs were in the part. That's correct. My mother was, et cetera, et cetera, right? Very good. Ana, Ana Alicia, right? No, 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 no. Ana Alvarado. Ana Maria. Ana Maria is, right? Ana Maria Alvarado. I wasn't born in the U.S. I was born in El Salvador. Nice. Rolando, I was born in, El... okay. Uh, I hear, I made a correction here, Rolando. Look. Hello, Rolando, say the teacher. Please write El Salvador, right? Understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because yes. it's a name. It's a name, right? Let me maximize this. No, that's okay. We can see it, right? Okay. Uh, El Salvador. Let me see. So I was born in El Salvador in 1972. So you're still very sipotón, Rolando. Don't worry. I wasn't born in El Salvador. The same. <laughs> Salvador is... Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, let me see this post. Oscar Ernesto Fabian. No, no. It's not from the group, right? Uh, Vicky, no. Listen. Let me see this. No, no. These commentaries are not from the group, right? 
Okay, thank you for the commentaries in the group. Now let's let's go and watch well, your English is really good now. The rest of the of the video, right? Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Okay, this is the most important part, right? Because you have to memorize this. Yesterday in my PowerPoint presentation, I made a mistake. En mi presentación de PowerPoint lo había hecho al revés, ¿verdad? Pero aquí está lo correcto, okay? Where is with you, we, and they. Also, when you use plural, for example, when I say my friends, my songs, my parents, children, people. So all the time is plural, so you say where, right? Even my jeans, right? Jeans is, is plural in English. So my jeans were in, in the closet, for example, right? Then I say I, he, she, and it, we use was. And remember that I also can use names like uh, Pedro, Juan, Maria, Antonio, etc., etc., right? And then I say was. Or common nouns, the student was, the teacher was. The doctor was. Mm, okay. Good. Now let's continue. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject we, then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject day. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions.
finally we include a complement and uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with Beam about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Thank you, Rolando. Thank you. You are, you are my guy, right? Miguel. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Listen, I don't know if you have any extra question about the use of uh, the pass of B, right? Affirmative and negative statement, right? Uh, any question? I have a question, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, Alonso, right? Sí. Okay, please. Yeah. A la hora de, de redactar otros ejemplos, el, este, por ejemplo, si yo, yo digo que, que, no sé, que estaba haciendo como otra acción, eh, sufre algún cambio. Digamos, si yo estaba limpiando, no sé, lavando. Ah, ok, good. Listen. Uh, para ese caso hay que usar otra estructura, porque el verbo to be eh, en sí no indica acción. En el presente, ni en el pasado, ni en futuro, tampoco usando will, ¿verdad? En el futuro se usa will. Pero quedémonos aquí en el presente y en el pasado para que entendamos bien. Si yo digo yo estoy en mi casa o yo estoy triste, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ah. Eh, solo es una condición de ser. Yo soy o yo estoy, pero no estoy haciendo ninguna acción. No hago nada, no como, no corro, no, no vuelo, ¿ok? Entonces, es el verbo to be es el, el verbo por excelencia pasivo. ¿Ok? Entonces, no podemos agregarle otro verbo. ¿sí? Ni en presente ni en pasado. Podemos agregarle adjetivos para describir a alguien, ¿verdad? Por, como el que yo le decía, que hay WhatsApp, por ejemplo, yo estaba triste. ¿eh? Pero no otros verbos. Porque si ya le agregamos otros verbos, entonces ya cambia la estructura. Y tenemos otros verbos como el presente continuo, otra estructura perdón, este, otros temas como el presente continuo, el pasado continuo, ¿verdad? El uso del will también en el futuro, ¿verdad? I will be, yo estaré, ¿ok? Y, y otros temas, ¿verdad? Que, que, que indican otras acciones. Por ejemplo, para de, decirle algo, el presente continuo, ¿verdad? I, I, am, I am eating, por ejemplo, yo estoy comiendo. Utilizo el verbo to be, pero solo como auxiliar. Pero cuando digo eating, el verbo principal es comer. Mm -hmm. Pero ¿qué estoy diciendo con eso? No estoy diciendo yo soy o yo estoy. Estoy diciendo que yo estoy realizando una acción continua en el momento. ¿sí? Okay. Igual sucede con el be going to, que se usa para el futuro, ¿verdad? O el past continuo, el pasado continuo. O el past perfect continuo, que es una, una estructura mucho más delicada, ¿verdad? Más, más compleja. Pero siempre vamos a usar el verbo to be ya como auxiliar. Pero en sí, uh, no podemos combinar otros verbos con el verbo to be eh, cuando hablamos de una condición de ser o estar, ya sea en presente o en pasado. No se puede, ¿verdad? Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. You're welcome. Good. Now, any other question? <coughs> any other question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Una pregunta muy interesante de Alonso. Vamos a ver si alguien más tiene otra pregunta. ¿Alguna parte del, de, de la plataforma que les haya costado hacer? ¿O que aún no pueden hacer? Aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, I have a question. Uh, tell me, please, tell me. El, el was no tiene nada que ver con el did. No. No sé, no sé no, por qué, no, no. porque, perdón, este, no. por el, por el, la cuestión de que estamos hablando del pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, pero nuevamente, ¿verdad? Nuevamente, si utilizamos did, ya es otro tema. Ok. ¿Verdad? Porque, este, como, como le dije a Alonso, eh, el verbo to be es por excelencia el verbo pasivo, solo indica que yo soy o yo estoy. 
pero vaya, es como que hablar, vámonos al presente. En el presente es am, are, and is, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, y en el presente simple, cuando hablamos de acción, usamos el do y el das. ¿Sí? Entonces, en el presente tenemos am, are, and is, y tenemos do and das. Ahora nos vamos al pasado, y en el pasado vamos a encontrar al was y al where, y al did, al, por el otro lado, ¿sí? Ok. Este indica algo pasivo, y el did, Así como el do y el das en el presente, el did indica una acción. Obviamente que sucedió en el pasado, pero es una acción. Por ejemplo, did you eat pizza yesterday? O sea, ahí estamos hablando de comer. Did you yes. run in the park yesterday? ¿Corriste en el parque ayer? Did you visit your parents last week? Entonces, todo este, eh, tanto en preguntas de yes, no, de negativo y como de information question, en donde utilizamos el did, eh, vamos a estar hablando de acción, de acción, algo okay. movido. <ríe> en cambio que el verbo to be no, es pasivo, entonces no podemos combinarlos. No okay. podemos solo, combinarlos. Para, sí. solo para entenderle bien, con el did podemos utilizar básicamente casi que los ver, la mayoría de verbos, ¿verdad? Todos si los no verbos. Es que todos. Sí, sí. Y con el was y were, no solo, es necesario. Solo ahí nos de quedamos hecho, con el was y were, ahí nada más. Ok, ok, sí. excelente. Solo ahí nos quedamos. Ahora bien, como repito, los podemos combinar con otras estructuras, pero ahí ya sería otro tema. Ya otro no sería tema, el, okay. el, 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 el pasado simple o el, o el pasado del verbo to be, simple, sino que es, como ya expliqué, ¿verdad? otros temas diferentes. Ok, thank you, good question, okay, thank you, thank you. Eso es para que no confundamos los dos temas, ¿verdad? Es muy importante saber la diferencia. Tanto en presente como en pasado. Solo ahí ya tienen ganado como el 20% del inglés. <ríe> si entienden eso, ¿verdad? Así que ya ahí es una gran ganancia. Good. Now, let's continue. Now we're going to go to the knowledge check, right? And normally uh, I don't do it, but today I'm going to ask, right? Les quiero preguntar. Did all of you finish? ¿Terminaron todos ya esta parte? El 5.2. Yes. Everybody. Hay yes. alguien que no lo ha hecho todavía, que confiese ahora o, o que cae para siempre. Right? Todos lo han hecho. Va, entonces lo vamos a hacer juntos. Let's do it together, right? Mónica. Tell me, please, Mónica. Yo no lo he hecho aún, teacher. Ah, vaya. Me, me agrada. Me encanta su honestidad, Mónica. Thank you very much. Entonces, solo voy a rep repetir, ¿verdad? Porque ya prácticamente ya, ya lo expliqué la vez pasada y, y creo, entiendo yo que ya dominamos este tema. Ok. My family and I es plural. Entonces, ¿cuál de los dos vamos a usar? Dijimos ayer que para no confundirnos, ¿verdad? Todos los plurales van a ser where y todos los singulares van a ser was. Was. La única excepción es el you. Tú. Vos. O como decimos en Salvador, usted. Right? Ese es el único que vamos a usar. Where, you where, right? Es el único. Pero de ahí, en general, todos los plurales where, todos los singulares was. Y como aquí tenemos plural, ya saben qué responder. <ríe> ok, we, plural nuevamente. Primer nombre, pronombre personal. Primera persona, plural. Ok. I, singular. Primera persona, singular. Ya saben qué hacer. <risa> my parents, plural. They, plural. Plural. My father is singular también. So, ya saben qué poner ahí. No lo digo por Mónica. Secret, right? No me le cuente a Mónica todavía. <risa> ok, thank you very much. Now, let's continue. Let's watch the second video, right? Questions with the past tense of be, right? And it's easy, right? Just remember this. Así como el presente, también el pasado, el verbo to be, utilizando did, siempre vamos a estar con las cuatro estructuras. Affirmative, negative, yes, no question, information question. Ahí está todo. ¿verdad? Si dominamos las cuatro en todos los tiempos, ya lo hicimos. <laughs> ok, now listen, please. Yeah. As you learn how to ask and answer questions, 
with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay, now notice here, please, the two blocks of question, right? These block of questions are yes, no. Remember, the answer is only yes or no. Simple like that, right? And in the second block, we have information question. Where is about place. When is about time. And what is about objects. Abstract or concrete, right? Objetos abstractos o concreto, right? Okay. So this is the way we use the questions in the simple pass of B. Years. 1906. 1917, 1999, 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Hi, everyone. Okay, now we're going to read the commentary, right? Uh, Victor me dice que en Apopa no hay señal de internet, por eso no está con nosotros. Y me comunicaba ahí Luis que la... la la plataforma lo había sacado, ¿verdad, Luis? Eh, le recuerdo que como yo no tengo control de, de entrada y salida de los, de los alumnos, ¿verdad? <risa> Sino que es de la oficina. Así es que a veces cuando uh, la plataforma lo saca es por cuestión de internet, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you. Por ahí estaba leyendo el mensaje en WhatsApp, ¿verdad, Luis? Ok. Pero ya está ya, ya en la plataforma, tranquilo, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. Good, pero sí le recuerdo que no soy yo el que lo saca, ¿verdad? Es la, el internet. No, okay, no. Sí, es el internet. Sí, sí, pero ya, ya está bien, Luis, así que seguimos. Now, question with the pass of B. Alonso Tejada says, Were you born in San Salvador? Yes, coma, I was. Period, puntito. Si somos bien estrictos ahí, ¿verdad, Alonso? 
No, como I wasn't. Period, right? Puntito y seguido. Where were you born? I was born in Soya Pango, in Soya Harlem, right? Nice. Good structure. Congratulations, Alonso. Abel, when were en, you... En la prim... yes, Perdón, teacher, yes, en la yes, primera me equivoqué. Where, were you born in San Salvador? No, en la, en la mía, Abel. Ah, Abel. Ah, oh, yes. No, pensé que era Alonso que me estaba hablando. Ok, thank you, Abel. En la primera me equivoqué. When were your... <laughs> ah, yes, your sister. When was... Aquí, si lo hubiera hecho de campeón, hubiera agregado una S a la sister. <laughs> Y le hubiera salido bueno. Sisters. Eh? Your sisters. <laughs> okay, but when was your sister born, right? She was born in 1993. Where were we? Oh, wait. Where? where um, aquí estamos de lo que... Aquí está lo que estamos hablando, ¿verdad, Abel? Que no podemos hablar yes, de, de acciones. Ajá, sí. Aquí sí. sería... Eh, Permítame un segundito. Sería auxiliar, ¿verdad? Permítame un segundito. Ok, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Es que me está dando el beso. Buenas noches, mi hija. Ok. Good. Now, no. eh, when I say go, I have to say the auxiliary did, right? Did you go to dinner, for example? Fuiste a cenar. Did you go to dinner? Ah, pero aquí podemos hablar, el verbo to be, puedo decir, o, o yo era un mesero, o, o yo estaba en el restaurante, ¿verdad? O, o ¿dónde estabas tú en la cena? Where were you okay. uh, at, at, at dinner time, for, por ejemplo? Es que, decir, que, ¿dónde, ¿Dónde estabas que, tú que a la hora quería... de la cena? Ajá. 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 Yo quería... Okay. quería... Y, eh, como, como preguntar dónde, dónde, dónde vamos a cenar. Ajá, ok. Que pero creo que no, dice, no iba estructurado ajá, así. Ajá, cuando usted dice vamos, ahí ya coloca una acción, ¿verdad? Entonces ya es otro tema, se pasa al did. ¿sí? Okay, ajá. Igual, igual que en did. presente. Okay, igual que en okay. presente. Ténganlo en mente porque esto es bien importante para todos. Eh, yo voy al restaurante, yo estoy en el restaurante. ¿sí? Cuando digo yo estoy, es que no estoy haciendo nada, ¿verdad? Pero cuando digo yo voy, o yo estoy comiendo, o, o yo estoy manejando, ahí incluyo una, una acción, ¿ok? Muy bien. We were, eh, aquí si borramos dinner, ¿verdad? Y we were in La Pampa. Estuvimos en La Pampa. O sea, excuse me. <ríe> ok, thank you very much. Yo solo voy una vez al año ahí. <ríe> si me invitan. <ríe> Ok, thank you, thank you. Now, <risa> Carlos <para> Cruz. <risa> uh, Carlos Cruz no está en el grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, Carolina de Angulo. Ok, Carolina. When was your birthday? It was June 17th, right? Ok. Were you born in El Salvador? Yes, I was. Vean qué bien está usando las comas y los puntos, Carolina. ¿Ve? Yes. Were your sister born in Mexico? I suppose you said, right? No lo abro porque me va a tomar más tiempo, pero está bien. Ok, Rolando, ¿were you born in Guatemala City? Yes, también está usando coma. Bien, Rolando, lo felicito. I was born in Guatemala City. In... Ah, is it true, Rolando? Es verdad eso, Rolando, you're Guatemalan. Nació en Guatemala, Rolando. Hello? San Salvador. San, Sa San, ah, Miguel. Okay. San Miguel City. Ok, it's just an example, right? Ok. Sí. No, I was born in the city of San Salvador, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Good commentaries, Rolando. Eh, aquí vamos a ver quién puso esto. Oscar Ernesto Fabián. No, no, no. It's not from the group, right? Okay, y aquí está otro. No sé quién es. Vamos a ver. Nos metemos. Silvia Roxana Robles. Let me see. No, no tenemos ninguna Silvia, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces lo dejamos ahí. Good. So, thank you for your commentary. Thank you for your example, right? You increase the material for the group. Eh, me ayuda mucho a mí porque incrementan el material del grupo y uh, también practican ustedes, right? Now, let's go to knowledge check, right? I imagine this wasn't done yet, right? Este todavía no lo han hecho. <coughs> 
pero lo voy a repasar una vez más. Where were you born? Aquí me está preguntando de un lugar. En las respuestas tenemos Yumiko. Podría ser este de Hiroshima, Japón. Podría ser este Tokio también. Podría ser una posibilidad. Ok. Next one. Where did... Again, nuevamente me está preguntando de un lugar, miren. Where did you grow up? Right? Aquí sí estamos usando el did, miren. Y un verbo que indica acción, ¿sí? Ok, entonces dice where. Mm. Tiene que ser en un lugar, va. Tiene que ser en Hiroshima o Tokio. Uno de estos dos podría ser, ¿verdad? No le puedo decir cuál porque <risa> todavía no está terminado. <risa> How was, ¿cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue? How was your first day at school, right? Entonces, tenemos que clase. buscar algo que indique el verbo to be, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Ok, ahí ustedes escojan. Uh, luego tenemos who was, entonces aquí es una persona. Who was your first friend? ¿Quién fue tu primer chero en la escuela, right? Ahí pueden escoger el nombre de una persona. Eh, what was she like? Or what was he like? ¿Cómo era él? ¿O cómo era ella? Tiene que buscar una. Beautiful. Ah, ok. <ríe> Confesa, <ríe> confessions. <ríe> ok. No lo voy a escuchar a su esposa por ahí. Ok, no. now. <ríe> Why did you take this class? ¿Por qué tomaste esta clase? Ok. Ahí de buscar una razón. <laughs> ok, good Now, any question? ¿Tienen alguna duda sobre esta parte? ¿Alguna pregunta de esta que no entiendan? ¿No? Ok Lo, Vamos a preguntarle a alguien específico Lorena ¿le ¿Está funcionando ahora el micrófono, Lorena? ¿Es tu micrófono working? Hello. No, ¿verdad? Lorena necesita la tablet o lo que usó ayer para que le escuchemos porque no se le oye. Pero entiendo que no hay preguntas porque no me he mandado nada al chat. Ok, good. Now let's go to the class today, but before to go to the class, we're going to practice with vocabulary. I will ask some, someone about uh, this. We're going to play a game, right? Vamos a hacer un jueguito. Uh, la vez pasada hicimos Simon Says, ¿verdad? Pero ahora vamos a hacer otro. Vamos a preguntarle a Ana María. Ana María, we're going to work with vocabulary, right? And I have categories. Tengo categorías, Ana María. ¿Cuál okay. quiere usted? ¿Quiere personajes? ¿Quiere animales? Uh, ¿Tengo también comida? ¿Food? Animals. Animals. Ok, good. Now we're going to do something. Listen. Uh, we are going to, permítame que me acabo de escribir aquí, Lorena, ah, ok, teacher, no, no, si no pudo conectarse, entiendo, Lorena, no se preocupe, ahí, escúchenos y apoya a la chica porque vamos a hacer un, un jueguito aquí, ok, what is the game, the name of the game is Tabú, right, el juego se llama Tabú, y vamos a, a competir chicas con chicos, tabú. right, Tabú, yes, yo les doy unas palabras, y ustedes adivinan cuál es la palabra tabú, la palabra secreta, ¿ok? Yes. Ok, now we're going to do something, right? Vamos a irle poniendo puntos a las chicas, si lo dice una chica la respuesta. Si lo dice un chico, bueno, para los chicos, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces yo les voy a poner varias palabras y ustedes me adivinan qué animal es. ¿Ok? ¿Ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ready. Ok, good, ready. good. Now, here we go. Let me see. Something wrong happened here. Algo malo pasó. Okay, yes. Ratón. <laughs> Mouse. 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 It's a mouse. Sorry, it's mouse. I heard a boy. Mouse. Escuché un chico ahí. Mouse. Sorry. Mouse. Yeah. Digo ratón? Excuse mouse. me, come on. He says he's say in Spanish. <laughs> Yes, at the beginning, right? Pero por ahí creo que Alonso dijo mouse. No, I, yo lo dije, sí, sí. 
Okay. Mouse, one yes. point for the for the boys. One point for the boys. Next one, right? Remember the category is animals. Animal, oh, right? Colors. Cat. Colors. No, it's animal. Cow. Zebra. Zebra. Yes. Zebra. Zebra. <laughs> okay. Stripes is a uh, raya, right? No. Raya. Stripes. Okay. Stripes. And white and black, right? Good. Let's continue, right? Let's continue now. Next one. Giraffe. 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 Very good. Two points for the girls. Hey. Two points for what? What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, she said giraffe. She said giraffe. Sorry, I heard giraffe. Right. No, vamos al bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next one. Hay revisión. <laughs> Cat. Cat. Rat. Rat. Very good. Okay. Rat. Uh, rat. No es necesidad del, del bar, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Next one. Next one. Octopus. 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 I heard a boy. I heard a boy. Octopus. Very good. What do you say? Octopus. Octopus. Octopus, right? Okay, now. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Escríbalo, por favor, para ver cómo se... Octopus. Octopus. Okay, gracias. Octopus. Hombre araña uno. Octopus. Yes. <laughs> Doctor Octopus, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now let's continue. Next one. Oops. What happened? Algo malo hice. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Next one. Shark. Fish, no. Mariposa. Fly. Hey, ¿Qué es eso? Similar to fly, similar, similar. Butter. Mosquito. Ajá, but in English. Hi. B. No, B is B. abeja, right? Chicky fly. <laughs> okay. I, I will give you an. Uh, uh, a clue, right? It goes si, si kun, si kungunja, I suppose it's that way. Si kungunja. Uh -huh. How do you say sankul in English? <laughs> no, come on. Mosquito. <laughs> uh, mosquito. Sankuro in English is mosquito, right? Yeah, like this. Mosquito, right? Sorry, no points. Next one, please. Ready? Ah, yo lo dije, teacher. No, you say mosquito. Okay. Ya, ya revisé el bar. Mosquito, right? Okay. This is a bull. Bull, correct. Now you're a tie. Vamos empatados. Okay. Next one. The last one. Look, the last one, right? The last one. Teacher. Repeat me? the animal. Bull, like Bull. Chicago Bulls. Remember oh. Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Oh. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Okay, yes. good. Now, next one. Cock. 
Cold. 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 Oh, sorry. Cold. Sorry, ah, girls. Boys. Punta para las boys. girls. No, no yo lo digo. No, 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 sorry. Boys. The boy pays. Boys. I'm sorry. Boys forever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Perfect. winners are the Qué boys. Qué malo. Boys. Clap for, no, sí, y veamos el bar. Veamos el bar. Listen, listen. The boys win. Tomorrow <laughs> you check the video. Tomorrow yes. you check the video, right? Okay. And then at Watch night you tell video. me. En la noche <laughs> le dice, teacher, ya revisé el video y usted no hizo trampa. <laughs> o, no, ya revisé el video, los chicos ganaron. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's continue. Let's continue with the class. Now we're going to start with the class today. 5.7, right? 5.7. Let me see. 5.7. Give me a second here. Okay. 5.7. Okay, good. Pronunciation. Negative contractions. Pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday. And he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay. Give me a second here. Good. Here, I need you to pay attention that uh, when you use this negative form, right? And I say syllable, it means that it's only one sound, only one sound, right? Uh, let me explain this by a simple word. Let me show you this. The word is nice, right? Nice. Normally you say, ah, it has two syllables, right? But no, because you don't say, nice. Okay, I, I cannot say, Lorena is very nice, or Rolando is very nice. No, no, it's nice. So normally in Spanish, for example, when I say casa, for example, casa, two syllables, right? But it's the way we write, así como escribimos, así pronunciamos. But in English, no. The pronunciation is sometimes very different from the, the way you write. So in this case, nice has only one syllable, right? Only one syllable. Now, uh, let me check this and this, right? Okay, now, here, for example, you say, you don't say, ah, rent. No, you say, aren't, aren't. If you don't say don't, 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 weren't, weren't, can't. But look at this, the difference between this group and this group. We say is and, isn't, doesn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. So we have two syllables, right? Okay. It's difficult to understand because you say, hey, pero si están los mismos casi. Okay, but the way you pronounce contractions is this way, right? Estas son las reglas para pronunciar estas contracciones al menos, okay? Aren't, aren't, don't, weren't, weren't, 
can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Okay? Now, uh, let me see. Uh, Josue, please. I need you to read this part for the class, Josue. They didn't. Okay, and Josue, pay attention okay. in the pronunciation. One syllable and two syllable, right? One, two, three. Jose? They didn't. Uh -huh. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Continue. I don't like coffee and uh, and like tea. Uh, she does. These are doesn't repeat please. Doesn't. She, and she doesn't like tea. Continue. Continue. These aren't their. Uh -huh. Swim sweet. They can swim. Okay. Only one. Right? Wasn't. Aren't, 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 can't. can't. Uh, continue. Can't. He? He want mm, there yesterday. No, 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 no. He? He, wa he wasn't. Okay. Two syllables. Wasn't. Continue, continue. He wasn't here yesterday. Wasn't. And he isn't here today. Good. Thank you very much. Right? Any question about this? It's just a practice of conversation, right? Okay. Now, let's go to the last video for tonight. W is question with did, was, and where, right? Aquí vamos a terminar de entender la diferencia entre el verbo to be y los auxiliares que indican acción. Do, does, and did, right? Okay, now let's watch the video, please. Formula. W learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now. Good. Now let's practice the conversation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Uh, so, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Born. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. I went to college here. Remember, college is university, right? Oh! What was your major? Uh, major es como una licenciatura, ¿verdad? No es exactamente igual, pero algo parecido, ¿ok? What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, why did you, sorry, why did you become a hairstylist? Why did you become a hairstylist? Become is llegar a ser, convertirse, right? Because I needed the money. 
and I love it. Look, what do you think? Uh, he's referring to the hair, right? Se está refiriendo a cómo le quedó el pelo a la chica. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. No comenta, right? Sin comentarios, cómo le quedó el pelo. Now, listen again the conversation, please. And repeat. Just give me a second here. In a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. Where did you grow up? Let's listen. Wait, wait, give me a second. Um, sorry. Okay. I want to stop it. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Give me a second, class. Uh, here, right? And okay. practice. Repeat, please. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I'm oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Que no puedo tener la conversación. Yes. Okay. And practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? Repeat, please. I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. Repeat, come on, repeat. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look. What do you think? Well, uh... Okay, no, notice here the combination of present, past, information question, verb to be, uh, auxiliary did, etc., etc., right? So if you understand this, you won't have problems, right? You won't have problems later to understand other things, right? For example, where did, did, right? This is not verb to be. This is action in past, right? I was, oh, yes, in this case, it's verb to be. Did, again, right? So it's the simple past. I went, simple past. What was your, ah, bird to be, bird to be. I was, bird to be in past again. That is interesting, bird to be in present. Why did you become a hairstylist? Did, again, in the past, right? Action in the past. I needed the money, simple past. And I love it, simple present. What do you think? Huh? What do you think is simple present, right? Okay, good. Now let's finish the video, right? Now let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. 
Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Okay, class. So this is very important because we have to make the distinction between the use of this and the use of past or verb to be, right? That is similar to the present. In present, we use does and do here, right? And we use am, um, are, and is here in the present, right? So uh, I need more commentaries for this video tomorrow, right? So um, that's all for today. Do you have any question about the this class? Questions for today's class before we finish? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay, thank you very much. See you tomorrow, please. And try to complete the exercises. Tratemos de completar todos los ejercicios, okay? Okay. Bye. Have a good night. Good See night. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank, thank you. Thanks.